All right, Doc Positive here, leader of the pack at the Paws Veterinary Clinic. And we're here with Okimo. Okimo is a young male Rottweiler who has dietary indiscretion. That's a fancy way of saying, what will your pet eat? And right here it says, top 10 items ingested by pets. Number one, socks. Two, underwear. Three, pantyhose. Four, rocks. Five, balls. Six, chew toys. Seven, corn cobs. Eight, bones. Nine, hair ties and ribbons. And ten, sticks. Well, Okimo has ingested many of those. But this time he has a towel, part of a hand towel, stuck in his abdomen. So we can feel it. He's been throwing up now for a day or two. The towel is stuck. So that means surgery for a chemo. We're going to go get the towel, see how much damage is done with his intestines, and fix the problem. More to follow. Bye now. All right, we have Okimo all scrubbed. We'll get him draped up. He's prepped. And we'll go find out what's in there. So more to follow. Okay. All right. This is the intestine. It's all what's called plicated. Because in here is where the toweling is. Back up, Lisa. You don't need to get that close. And there's also... You can see how this is all bunched up because all the way up in here there's pieces of the string. You can see how angry looking the intestine is. But we're getting it unbunched here. It was intussuscepting. And we will get this uh, piece of towel out of the intestine here. So we're making, it's all right in here. So I'm going to make an incision here and we'll remove the towel. All right. So we're in here. Okay, here we go. This is what is stuck in this dog's intestines. So we're taking out the towel. That's what's been obstructing. So now we need to close the hole that we made in the intestinal tract. All right, we're closing up. Bye now. Okay, in the interest of speed, we're going to use a surgical stapler here because this dog. We wound up doing four enterotomies. There were four different areas of the intestine that we had to open and take out the toweling. And so this is much faster for closure. It's more expensive, but it's quicker. So this dog will be done here shortly. Take him into recovery. Wake him up. We will withhold food for a couple days. Introduce water tomorrow. And uh, hope things don't leak. Bye now. All right, Doc Positive here. Okimo, gonna take him back to recovery. But right here, that is a bowl full of fabric. Used to be a towel. Now it's all wadded up because we had to 
remove it from his abdomen. Intestinal foreign body, a blockage. And unfortunately, the towel was in pieces and stuck in four different spots. So we had to make four enterotomy incisions. That's four incisions into the intestine to take out four different wads. And the thing about the four different openings is that's four spots where the intestines could potentially leak. Ideally, if everything's wadded up in one spot, you have one enterotomy incision, one opportunity for leakage, less likely to leak, less likely to have post-op complications. But we got them sealed up pretty good. We'll uh, wake them up, give them some pain medication, some more antibiotics. Tomorrow, uh, 24 hours from now, 5.30, we'll introduce water. Make sure he keeps that down, that doesn't leak. 24 hours after that, introduce a bland diet. All right, Doc Positive here, leader of the pack at the Paws Veterinary Clinic. I know. All right, Doc Positive here, getting ready to send Okimo home. Barry, he's got his ID. That's not his ID. That's intestinal diet. That's the special gastrointestinal health. Okimo's looking good, considering two days ago we had his insides on the outside and we made four big holes in his intestines to take out a towel that he had chewed up and swallowed. So we're having a little love fest here with Daddy, going over his medicine. He's going home on a couple of different medications to uh, promote some healing. And we got a little bit of food because post-operatively, for the next couple weeks, Okimo needs to eat prescription intestinal diet, which promotes gastrointestinal health. And so he's all shaved up here. Oh, Kimo! Come here. Come here, buddy. Yes. Yes. He's been eating that good. But we give him small, frequent meals. We don't want to overload his digestive system. He's got four holes where we had to cut into and remove the towel. And so... It looks to me like Okimo's happy. Daddy's, Daddy's happy, happy cause he ain't got the bill yet. Uh, these guys are happy because this is a freaking well behaved young yes. Rottweiler. And Doc is happy cause every now and then he gets one right. Bye now.